friends, welcome back to my channel. It is time for my completed pages of March 2024. It was a great coloring month for me, thank goodness. I went through a bit of a slump for a while, for quite a few months, and I feel like I'm finally back in action again. Um, so I will be going over what I completed specifically for my game that I played in the beginning of March and then also uh, showing any additional pages that I worked on. So let me move these to the side. Um, so I do have marked here my progress. I thought it might be fun to show this. Um, this is my list of 24 books I'd like to complete in 2024. Not complete. Work on. <laughs> Focus on. Not complete. Uh, let me come in a little closer here. Okay, so it is this side only here. And what I've been doing is, like last year, I've been coloring in a star for each page I complete in uh, on this list. So in the month of uh, March, they are, I actually switch colors. So, and I might do that going forward. So I know with each month what I was able to focus on during that month, but I got a page done in Mythographic Dream Garden, two pages in Ivy and the Yankee Butterfly. One was a quite a small page, but I'm still counting it. Uh, Whimsy Girls Through the Decades, I got one page done in. Optical Illusions, one page. One page in Gnome Sweet Gnome, and one page in Garden Circle. So, made a lot of progress on this list for the month, which is great. Um... So let me dive in here and I will start with one that you might have already seen the completion of because I did a video on this one. This was a challenge from my game to color a page from start to finish in one sitting. Um, I fudged it a little bit because it was a holiday and I was trying to get it done, um, but I did finish it in one day and in one afternoon, essentially. So. This is from the Fairyscapes little, um, sort of a little spiral bound book that came in a book or a coloring box that I ordered off of Deborah Muller's Etsy store. Uh, that was quite a few months ago, so I don't, I know this one's not still available, but um, I've, I've been trying to kind of keep tabs because if she does another box, I will totally buy it. I loved the box. Uh, and I finished to find it here somewhere around here I finished one of these pages there we are so I finished this one here I used for the background I used these I think I have them right here these pop paint sticks from joy and fabric I thought they were pretty cool to use. I'm interested in trying a little more with them, getting a little better with them. Um, and then I used a lot of pencils. Uh, I'm trying to remember which ones I used. I can't remember now. Uh, and then I also used a little bit of metallic gel pen to outline the wings on the dragonfly and the wings on the fairy. And I am happy with how it came out. I think it's fun, colorful, uh, it's nice for spring for sure. And I love working on this paper and in this book and with Deborah Muller's artwork. So lots of fun. I uh, will try to link the video above if you're interested in watching this be completed. It is a long one because <laughs> I am a slow colorist. Then I have Gnome Sweet Gnome uh, by Teresa Goodrich. It is in the Creative Haven coloring book line. I'm going to come out just a touch for this one. All right, and this page is one that I chose uh, for the uh, season spin wheel. I got the season of summer. So I chose a page in here that was summery feeling to me to work on for that uh, challenge or prompt. And I did this one here. And it was, again, a lot of fun. It took me a while to do, for sure. Uh, it is done entirely in pencil, except for the border. I did do that in a marker, I believe. Um, 
But yeah, it's so much fun. This book is adorable. This is my first completed page in this book, so that's fun too. And um, like I said, this is one that I wanted to focus on in 2024, so it's good to have a page done in here now. Um, and then next one I have is Whimsy Girls Through the Decades by Hannah Lynn. And I chose this as my free pick in March. I I wanted to do this cute exercise girl, workout girl, because I was hoping to work out more in March. I think I went to the gym a total of four times. <laughs> and I did do a couple of at-home workouts to maybe... So we probably totaled uh, maybe eight days total of working out for the month. But hey, that's better than zero days. So... Uh, we're, we're getting there, but I did do this cute girl here. I love how this turned out. Um, I used mostly alcohol marker. I did a little bit of colored pencil shading on her hair and her eyes. And then I did use a metallic watercolor paint on the little... Um, accents on the background here. I colored this black in just with a Sharpie marker and um, yeah, she is super cute. Really, really love it. I debated on coming in and doing more shading on the her outfit and things with colored pencil and I thought, nah, I like it the way it is. I just like it the way it is. So, and it's so 80s, 90s-ish late 80s, early 90s vibes, and I just love it. Love it. So this is, it might be my favorite that I did this month. It could be. Um, but that is Whimsy Girls Through the Decades by Hannah Lynn, and that was for my summer coloring page in my game prompt. I did a page in Crayola Art with Edge Optical Illusions, for the grayscale page that I pulled as a prompt on my game. And I did this frog here. Super simple alcohol marker and that is it. No nothing else fancy. Um, but these pages are so fun. So, so much fun to do. Um, yeah, because they're already shaded for you and They've got that dimension feel to it. Um, this is the first one I've done where it looks like they're kind of weaving through the paper, which is really cool. So that was the grayscale page that I did. That was really fun, really relaxing, of course. And then I have in Garden Circles by Tabitha L. Barnett. I had a whip that I had started in here that I really wanted to get finished. And... That is this one right here. Again, nothing too fancy. I did a little bit of shading. It's all colored pencil. I believe I used uh, Crazy Art pencils on this. So um, super simple, but lots of fun. Um, I debated on adding in some kind of a background and I just decided against it. I liked it, liked it just the way it is. So um, that was in Garden Circles by Tabitha L. Barnett. This is another one that I uh, wanted to focus on in 2024. So that was good to have one done in there finally. All right, then I have, let's see, I'm going to skip down to here and we'll do this one. I did a page in Coloring Quest. Uh, this is, I believe, by Color Questopia. No, Sunlight Drawing. Um, it's just a color by number book. And I did this one here. And it's supposed to be, I think, a castle. I believe that's a castle. Let me see. I'm getting my other supplies all dragged out here. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a, it's a palace. Yeah, so... Um, it was fun. I usually do squares as X's, so it was different for me to actually color the squares in. But I decided in this book, since there's so many different shapes, um, 
And I've already done full in for col full coloring in of those shapes that I wanted it to be cohesive and have full colored and shapes on this page too. So that was another relaxing color for me. And then now we're getting into some of the really fun ones. A uh, mythographic dream garden. This was a challenge prompt I pulled in my game and um, it was just to color a page in a math mythographic book. So th they are a challenging book to me. So, and I did indeed color a page in there. I did this one here and I did, I'm trying to think now what I used on the background. I think that's a watercolor paint. Yeah, that's a watercolor paint background. Um, the uh, main design is colored in all colored pencil. I used uh, polychromos pencils on this, so it was a good um, try to get the feel of them page because they are brand new to me and they are a little different to use to me than uh, other pencils I've had. Uh, a lot of the tips I've gotten are to use very light pressure and layers, so I really had to keep that in mind. Um, I feel like I can see myself growing throughout the page. There are some where the shading is just not, not quite there, and then there's, um, like, toward the end of the page, I did the tree trunk, and I feel like the shading in that is so much better than where I started with the leaves. So that was kind of fun to see myself grow just within the page. Um, I did use some metallic paint on these little accent-y splotches that are throughout the page. Um, just the light blue one. And then I, I know there's a big debate and hot take on the, uh, little, uh, hidden things in the pictures. I embrace them. <laughs> so, um, I have a page in the Cast that I did and I actually colored in the little um, hidden items in true colors. And this one I decided it would be fun to make them little gold pieces. So I just colored them in with a um, liquid gold, uh, metallic gold color. So I know. There's a hot debate on that, but I just I decided personally I'm going to embrace it. So, um, yeah, and this was such a fun one to do. I did do um, a little bit of white paint, white gel pen to kind of cover over the cloud lines so they look more fluffy in the sky there. And I am really happy with this one. I just, I think above all, I love the colors in it. I think... Um, the colors turned out really pretty together. So happy with that. I know my blending needs work and I'm, you know, I think it's a beautiful thing to see yourself grow too, especially within a page. Um, so, and I know this is one I will enjoy looking back at in the future and seeing that growth as well. So it's not perfect, but I'm embracing it. Um, so this is, I, I don't think I mentioned before, Mythographic Dream Garden, and the artist is uh, Fabiana Atanasio. Amazing artwork. Then I have, this is a big one, because this is one that I would like to finish. Um, it's my number one one I want to finish. So Johanna Basford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And like I said, I finished two pages in here. It's technically a two-page spread. Um, let me get this out of the way. Um, so let's see, I used pencils for the chandelier and the colored parts in here. I outlined the butterfly once again with that, um, metallic silver gel pen. The light, light bulbs and, let's see, okay, so I'm jumping ahead here. Um, the little beads that are hanging down and the pearls in the chandelier are uh, also used metallic paint for those. The butterfly flying away, uh, I used that Wink of Stella 
to give it a little sparkle in its flyaway path. Um, I don't know, flyaway path. I'm not sure what that's called. The little magical dust it's leaving behind. Um, and then, so I don't know if it'll come across on the screen here, but on the diamonds that are hanging down, I used the, uh, it's new for me, the Sakura Gel Gloss Gel Pen. Um, and just outlined those. And then the background was super fun. I did a stencil. Let me see if I can show it here. So this is a Tim Holtz uh, little stencil. I used this stone up here and just moved it around the page. And I used a mix of, of color. Uh, chalk pastels to uh, go over the stencil all the way around the page. Um, and I wanted it to look like, let's see where it says it. Oh yeah, here. So it says it's the dungeon walls and they were crumbling with stained black smoke. And I debated on incorporating smoke through, but I did that on another page where it mentions smoke right here and then I'm going to have smoke well I've already started with the smoke coming out of the dragons here so I didn't want to make another page that was all smoky but I figured I'd embrace the dungeon uh, mention that's in here and kind of go with that and um, I think it turned out really cool I'm backgrounds is something I'm again learning and growing with so I think it was really fun to kind of be creative and um, do something different for a background here and I really love the way it turned out. So that is my completed two-page spread in Johanna Basford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and then I have two oh and that was um, that was a game prompt as well I can't think of it now I will pop on the screen what game prompt that was meant to um, achieve but I know that was for my game prompt as well. And then also for my game prompt, I have a whip here. This is one of the ones I did not complete. Uh, this is a PDF page. So the prompt was to color a PDF. And um, this is... Uh, it is from an Etsy store called Rada Prints. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh Please excuse me if I'm saying that wrong. Um, and I started out coloring it. I just have it printed out myself on a, a cardstock that I buy from Walmart. I can't remember the brand, but um, it, it works wonderfully for me. Um, and so far, just pencil work. I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate other uh, mediums or not on this page, but I definitely want to continue forward with it. I think it's a perfect one for spring and just so much fun. So my general plan or thought process on this was to do a rainbow of pots. So these will be red tones of pots. And then down here we will have green tones of pots. And then I think I'm going to put all my blues and purples down here and then I'm not sure what I want to do with these guys sitting around here but um, so far it's a lot of fun and I'm really enjoying working on it so love love their artwork as well and then I have another whip this was supposed to be a buddy and I again failed on my buddy <laughs> it's becoming a trend here um, so this is in Tiny Worlds by Matt Edwards. I did do some work on it. I did a little bit. I got a couple mushrooms done down here and a little bit more of the green, the greenery around the page. Um, and a couple of things within the picture as well. It's almost, uh, these super detailed ones I'm finding. It's hard for me to just sit down and go, okay, I'm going to color this page. It's more like, okay, I'm going to sit down and what do I feel like coloring in the page? And it's like, okay, I've got green out. I'm going to color this wine bottle and these little green bits of this plant here and uh, the greenery coming from these pumpkins here. And then I get to a point 
and I'm like, okay, I'm done coloring on this. So I think it's going to be a little while. Um, and it's just the nature of the page. I have another page I started working on that just kept it by, um, in the basement by the TV. And I've been pulling it out whenever I want to just sit and color a little something. And it's like a super detailed, um, almost dollhouse looking picture in the Mice Before Christmas coloring book. And it's like, uh, it's a lot like this, like, okay, I'll come in and color these chairs and then I'm, I'm done for the evening. Um, and you know what? It's working well for me. It kind of satisfies that itch to color, but not get into anything huge. Um, and I feel like it's going to be so cool when I get it all done and I've, you know, kind of pieced it together little by little over a bit of time. So I think it's just, um, the way personally I prefer attacking these pages, but I will keep going with this. This is staying out and I'm going to keep keep tackling it bit by bit and um, enjoy it along the way. So and that is it. That is everything I colored in the month of March. I did um, spend some of my free time doing some other things. I uh, have been working on crocheting a little set of leg warmers for my daughter and I finished a leg warmer and then ran out of yarn and I had to go get some more. But um, so I have a leg warmer completed. Um, I have the start of the other one here. So this is the cuff. And then I just need to add work up from here to make the leg warmer. So maybe when I finish that next month, I'll include a picture of her wearing those in um, the video. And I've been working on a little embroidery uh, piece that my mother gave me as well. And... Um, I'm getting close on that one too. So maybe by the end of April, I'll have a couple other finished projects to share just to throw in there too. Cause I feel like, uh, this is a crafty space. So I, I, I feel like I'd like to share those things too. Oh, and a, um, a diamond art, which I got in a book box. This one, I'm never going to get it all the way on the screen, but it is like this cool castle library type page and I can show what, what I've been working on here. So down here is what I just sat here and there and completed. And I know little random extras there, but, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's all my crafty, crafty life for the month of March. Um, but thank you so much for joining me and uh, checking out what I was able to complete. I very much appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.